We're here because we believe in the strange. The unknown. The unthinkable. We're here because we want to know the real story. around 2500 BC. Local folklore says the stones were carried bodily on the borders of the wizard Merlin, but in fact, no one is exactly sure how the stones were moved or how they came to be located at this site. Stonehenge was more than a temple. It was an astronomical calculator aligned on the axis of the summer and winter solstice. Who built it remains a mystery as well as how any ancient civilization could have moved these massive stones, some weighing as much as 50 tons. Jacob Glazer, and you are listening to The Real Story. So, friends, I have something pretty big to start us off with today. I picked up an unbelievably strong electromagnetic burst on the Earth's energy grid, running all the way from Maine to England. Does anyone else pick that up? Because it's kind of freaky, and shockingly, I haven't heard anything from our government's so-called scientists. 
Something's rotten in Denmark, my friends. All right, let's go to the switchboard. What's on your mind, caller? I want to know why crackpots like you pick on the space agency, accusing them of lies and deception. You have any proof they covered up the discovery of aliens on the moon? Ooh, crackpots. Ouch. First of all, buddy, I never said they found aliens on the moon. It was a robot head. And second, no, I don't have any proof because the president classified it as a national security issue. <sighs> What's on your mind, caller? Yo, Jacob, I think Stonehenge moved. Really? Where to go, Pittsburgh? Dude, I'm serious. I mean, the whole thing is terrible. It's gonna be one of those nights, isn't it? Hi, caller. What's on your mind? That cooler was right. The sounds that Stonehenge moved. Soldiers kicked me out of my own house. Took over the local middle school. I've never seen anything like it. Really? There's soldiers at Stonehenge? They've set up roadblocks and closed off the whole area. Oh. They said something about government excavation, Jacob. No, no rubbish. That does sound like a picture hung crooked. Heard some tourists got killed. Figured you'd know the truth. Not yet. Rest assured, I will get the real story. I'm gonna sign off for a minute. You are listening to the real story with Dr. Jacob Gleason. You've reached the voicemail of Dr. Joseph Lasham. Joseph, uh, it's Jacob. Call me ASAP, it's important. Joseph, finally, you're a hard man to reach. Hey, I'm a busy man, Jacob. What's so urgent? Don't play dumb. Just tell me what you know. You being your usual cryptic self, my friend, know about what? That massive EM surge that struck the energy grid. It looks like it hit Stonehenge. So still chasing ghosts, huh? Or is it druids this time? Joseph, this is real. Stonehenge is under some sort of a secret quarantine. Then why aren't you on a plane for England right now? What do you think I'm doing? Listen, I want you to meet me at the airport. We'll go investigate this together. I can't, my friend. I got a puzzle my own to solve. What puzzle? I found something, Jacob. Something big. Joseph, listen, there, there's been a massive electromagnetic disturbance at an archaeological site. It's just like you predicted. It could validate your interpretation of the ancient texts. Ah, you flatter me, my friend. But at this point, do you really think I care what a bunch of academics and bureaucrats think about me? It's not just about you, Joseph. It's about us. You, me, and everyone else they call crazy. Well, then go to Stonehenge. Go now. Maybe your last chance. You mean my last chance? Good luck, Jacob. like radio waves. Yeah, they are. And these particular waves are roaming between the stones. They're not part of the electromagnetic interference? No. These wavelengths are structured. She's here, sir. Dr. Leeds. John. You call this a report? There's not a shred of data in here that would explain how seven people could be burned to a cinder by a tourist attraction. It's been hard to collect reliable data. The entire site is awash with heavy interference. 
any type of recurrence, aftershocks? No, but we did just find something else abnormal. Radio waves oscillating inside Stonehenge. What's the source? I'm not sure. They're propagating through the stones, so they might be originating underground. Marla, radio physics officer. Want an audio representation, will you? All right. Well, that sounds creepy. Where's it coming from? Stonehenge. David, Dr. Trousdale, head of task force. David, geophysics. So what are we looking at? Seismic eruption? Formation of a new fault line? What? Oh, we can't say with certainty, sir. The electromagnetic interference is making seismic surveys impossible. Uh, but we did find this anomaly. What's this? It's a scan of the altar stone showing electromagnetic field inside the stone. Well, we need to figure this out quickly. The Russians are already making accusations that this was a nuclear test. Dr. Jacob Blazer, and I'm reporting from Stonehenge. Believe me when I tell you I'm not making this up. I can see that the stones have moved. And the big question is how and why the government is quarantining the area. Thomas. I'm reading unusually strong electromagnetic currents. Put a light on this, please. Huh, that's odd. The saw is discolored. I'm on top of a subterranean current that's flowing directly into Stonehenge. There's something in the stone. John, are you seeing this? What is that? There's some type of electromagnetic field in the stone. EM levels are really strengthening now. Sir, EM interference is rising. Hey! Get out of there! You're in danger! Security breach! Trespass are on the field. I want security out there right now. EM interference. 
transfers. I'm in fast 100 gigahertz. KC, evacuate immediately. Everyone out of here. Energy from the blast was channeled deep underground. Seismic readings look like a thousand Hiroshima's went off down there. We're getting it now. Oh my God. John, come see this. Find out the source of that discharge. How? The discharge fired all the subsurface sensors. Try aerial imaging. Dr. Trout's done. We've still got an intruder on the ground. I'm aware of that, Major. So go find him. We've got a much bigger problem than we thought. Right after Stonehenge erupted, Mexico was devastated by volcanic eruption in Yucatan. Holy cow. Uh, all right, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have a lot of data to analyze before we can even consider whether this is connected. You don't think a simultaneous volcanic eruption is connected? We need to know what is going on right here beneath our feet, not 5,000 miles away. Everyone listen up. All right, 50-ton stones do not move by themselves. Something has to move them. Now, we know we have a massive field of energy at play here. I don't think it's Merlin waving his magic wand, so let's come up with some answers, shall we? All right, yes. All right back to work.
We found our bloody intruder. <laughs> Giddy unit out there. Tell me what you think this is. Uh, looks like a genera of thermophile. This was in the soil sample. Exciting, isn't it? Top of the morning, fellas. I thought these microbes only lived in extreme environments. That's what's so incredible. Pyridictium cells are one of the oldest organisms on the planet, normally formed in volcanoes, and yet here they are reproducing in soil under the stones. Well, how is that possible? The electromagnetic activity is so intense, it's actually changing the molecular structure of organic matter in the soil. It's similar to how life on Earth was formed. Well, it's an intriguing development, to say the least, but let's just concentrate on the geomagnetic data, shall we? Dr. Trousdale, please report to the Situation Room immediately. Let's go. You guys aren't listening. The public is in danger, and they have a right to know the truth. Yeah. Got your trespasser, Doctor. Hey, who's in charge? Are you in charge? I need to speak to someone in charge. More walking, less talking, mate. Listen, I'm... Hey, I'm a scientist. I can help you people. Piss off. Nice. Hey. There is a shortening sequential pattern inside the radio waves that's reducing itself as the waves recycle. How long before it recycles to extinction? Put up a path loss projection. Doctor, uh, that fellow we just brought in, he had some documents on him, sir. I thought you should see. Oh, not now, Major. Very good, sir. Uh, Major, what have you got? Dr. Charles Dale, maybe you should look at this. That's some sort of planetary energy grid. So what? It's pseudoscience. Hang on a minute. Look at how he's connected Stonehenge to the coast of Maine. Now, there was a detection of an electromagnetic surge along the same trajectory just before the Taurus were electrocuted. Now, look at this. That is a direct line from Yucatan to Stonehenge. What was this man's name, Major? Glasser, sir. Dr. Jacob Glasser. You're kidding me. No, sir. Claims he's a scientist, sir. Scientist, my aunt Fanny. Guy's a nutcase. This is a man who claimed the US Space Agency covered up the discovery of aliens on the moon. I wouldn't write him off so fast. I mean, this guy was the youngest ever recipient of the Prevalich Award for Astrophysics. Well, this, this guy was a prodigy. Yes, that was before his brain went pear shaped and he started a UFO talk show. Well, he obviously knew something was going to happen out there. Perhaps he knows something we can use. Like what? 
Is an alien invasion coming? Glasser! Come with me. Dr. Glazer, I'm Dr. Leeds, senior advisor of this operation. I saw what happened. You cannot cover this one up. Have a seat, please. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Do you understand that we could be on the verge of a global catastrophe here? Sit. Explain this to me, please. You're kidding me. You don't know that there are electromagnetic currents generated by the poles that crisscross under the Earth's crust and intersect at points of concentration? I'm referring to the pyramid icons, such as the one you have here in Mexico. Ancient civilizations, they knew about the energy grid. They built architectural structures on the power points. They did it in Mexico, in Egypt, Indonesia, and Stonehenge. And why did you highlight the line between Stonehenge and a grid point in Maine? I picked up an EM surge along that line. It's probably what triggered the disturbance here. You said your grid points fall on ancient sites. I don't know of any ancient sites in Maine. Do you? That's just because no one's discovered it yet. Have you ever heard of an EM surge causing a volcanic eruption? Is that what happened? Dr. Lee to ask the questions. Here's a question for you. Why is the soil around the stones turning purple? That's a sign of a bacterial infestation. Very good, Dr. Glazer. I see you know your ecology. Yeah, I know a lot of things. Are you aware that there's a weird EM field in the altar stone? Yes, I am. We've seen it. I have too. Somewhere else. Could be the missing piece to the puzzle. And where did you see this missing piece to the puzzle? Get me a computer, I'll show you. I'll let her know. Dr. Leeds, they want you back for the aerial imaging. All right. We will finish this later. Great, I'll just wait here. This is Recon 1. The elevation over target is 200 feet. Recon 1, hold your position. I got some luck. Radar dish is online. What are we seeing? No subsurface readings whatsoever. Increased pulse burns. Nothing. We need more depth. Recon 1 lower to 100 feet. Increased pulse burns. Pulse bounce at four CPS. Three. Okay, hold on. Um, the return signals are amplified. Getting something. Keep going, David. This is working. No, sir. There's something causing the return signal to bounce back too strongly. It's overloading the radar. I don't care if it fries the radar. I want to see what's going on down there. Let's bounce it too. What's that? General Forshaw. What the devil's going on, Doctor? Stonehenge took out one of our choppers? Uh, we've run into a spot of bother. Tell that to the families of the servicemen who were just killed. Good.
of God. How do you explain a stone monument shifting like that? Those stones have become the focal point of an unprecedented geomagnetic disturbance. And what caused this disturbance? That's what we're trying to establish, but most likely a cataclysmic event under the Earth's crust, maybe a, a massive collapse in the mantle. What about this countdown? Uh, it's a shortening sequential pattern in the radio waves reflecting between the stones. Doctor, in my world, if something's counting down, it usually ends with a boom. Okay, it, it may simply be a pattern of attenuation. But that monument has already caused the deaths of 10 people. Heaven help us if it's related to the disaster in Mexico. We haven't made that connection. Regardless, Stonehenge has become a destructive force. It's a security threat, must be treated as such. General, we need to be certain of the properties of this anomaly before we take any further action. I've spoken with world leaders who think otherwise. We're going to demolish it, John. Talk to Dr. Leeds. Can you get Dr. Leeds, please? Are you listening to me? I need to talk to Dr. Leeds. Here, my holding study. just happened a surface magnetic field just repelled the blast uh, uh, what were the readings on that David off the charts how do we neutralize it doctor well we uh, need to analyze the data we don't have time for that does anyone have an idea how to neutralize this anyone sir There may be someone. Yes. Scan the stone. There's something there. It's the symbol in the scroll. Yes, yes. There. There it is. It's the power source needed to energize the stone. Primordial Hill. This is the key. I, I, 
Let's go. He's here. There's your computer, Jacob. Hi, I'm David. It's an honor to meet you, Mr. Glazer. This is it. The Antikythera mechanism. It was found at the bottom of the Aegean Sea, 1900. Where is it now? The American Foundation for Archaeology in New York. You know all that? So this is, uh, this is the image that I picked up of the EM field in the altar stone. They're identical. What does this mean? My guess is the mechanism is some sort of electromagnetic key. Electromagnetic key? Thing looks like a piece of corroded scrap metal. Radiocarbon dating shows the mechanism is thousands of years old, yet the metal is machined in a way that would have required advanced technology. So you're saying this is a key to turn off Stonehenge? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, in your mind, Mr. Glazer, Stonehenge is uh, a machine that you turn on and off with a key, rather like a, a, an automobile? Um, I wouldn't call it a car. It's a highly complex device. It transcends our knowledge of physics. Oh, I see. So, and uh, who created this uh, marvelous invention? Our predecessors on the planet. Right, we don't have time for this. Get them out of here. Let's go, come on. You know there's never been a plausible explanation for how Stonehenge was built, or by whom. Says the man who accused the space agency of covering up finding aliens on the moon. I never said they found aliens on the moon. It was a robot head. Come on. Oh! Everyone stay at your posts. The mechanism will stop it. Primary wave coming in. EMI is starting to climb 400 gear The stones are going to turn again. John, look at the countdown. It's been exactly 10 hours since the last discharge. Corruption reported in Java. Indonesia? Oh my god, Indonesia has been flattened. What? This ends the debate on whether or not Stonehenge is causing disasters. We have a planetary emergency on our hands. This requires a global military response. on your mind? Travsdale's lost. He has no idea what's happening. None of us do. Well, that's bloody scary when none of you geniuses have a clue. Exactly. Look, that's why I want to go with this man, Jacob, and bring back this mechanism. What, are you having a laugh? He's the only person here with any semblance of an answer to what's actually happening. <sighs> well, I think you're mad. Don't let me stop you. I don't have authority to use military transport, Major. I need you to take us. Whoa, Doc. You need to get clearance. Come on. You heard how he was mocked. They'll never authorize it. 
You need to help me, Major. Talk to Leeds. I could be court-martialed. This is a global catastrophe. Now think about your family. We have to do whatever it takes, and now. What if this bloke turns out to be a total wacko? Well, then we live with it. But if we sit on our hands and do nothing while Stonehenge destroys the world, no one lives. Open the gate. Glass up! Uh. Let's go! What now? We're getting the mechanism. Tally-ho. I pray you're right about this. Yeah, me too. I have to assume there'll be another occurrence at the 20 and 10 hour mark. Then you better come up with something fast, because I guarantee the Joint Council will order Directive 1015. You're gonna nuke Stonehenge? Are you joking? Do I look like I'm joking, Doctor? I've been thinking. We need to try to disrupt the electromagnetic field. Jam the radio waves. Exactly. If we can disrupt the waves, then that should take the oxygen out of this thing, Matt. We will need a high-power transmitter that can generate a, a concentrated magnetic field. Radio telescope. There is one just south of here. Great. Get on it. She was outside a few moments ago. Well, go find her. The stone's turned and discharged again after exactly 10 hours, followed by a super volcano in Java, which has wiped out Indonesia. Millions are dead. My God. And there was another volcano 10 hours before? In Mexico. Both are grid points on your map. This is gonna sound so crazy. Huh, great. If you think it sounds crazy. What was the bacteria growing in the soil? Pyrodictium. Pyrodictium? Are you sure? Yes. Why? I think the planet's being terraformed. Terraform. You're right. That's crazy. No, listen. Pyrodictium, it's one of the ancient organisms that first oxygenated our atmosphere, right? Everything that Stonehenge is doing, the volcanoes, the quakes, the bacteria, that's how you create a life-sustaining environment. Well, I'm no muckety-muck scientist, but I thought our environment was life-sustaining. It's a machine. It doesn't know. What once created life on this planet, it's about to wipe it out. Radio telescope is online. Guards say Dr. Leeds left with Jacob and Pete, but... Say, didn't anyone try to stop him? No, they assumed it was a prisoner transport. Jamming frequency locked on target. Transmit jamming signal. The stones are shortening their wavelength to evade the jamming frequency. Defensive measure? Shorten the jamming signal's wavelength to the same frequency. The stone's wavelength is shortening again. Shorten the jamming signal. Stay with the stones, Lola. Stopped. Out of hearing range. Used to.
still with the stones? Trying to catch up. They're changing so fast. The stones' wavelength is approaching visible light. Accelerating jamming frequency signal to visible light. Stonehenge's wavelength is going gamma. Electromagnetic radiation is over 100 Rs. Shut it down. What do you mean, shut it down? Gamma waves are atomic, General. Pushing the wavelength this short is turning Stonehenge into a nuclear reactor. of disaster and the government sends you here to view a museum piece? It might have some relevance. Follow me, come on. Where is it? This bloody thing is going to save the world. Look, I'm getting a reading. It's generating a current. Well, how can an ancient relic generate current? Where's the power coming from? It's like the stones. It's pulling power from the energy grid. Open the case. We're taking this with us. Wait until me or Pete and get back. Stay low. <laughs> to survive, just as you are. Uh, I'm not killing anyone over some ancient relic. Is this your big discovery, the anti kathera mechanism? No, I give you the credit for that. In fact, I must thank you for finding this missing piece to the puzzle. How do you know that? Come on, figure it out, Jacob. That's what you're good at. My discovery is where that mechanism belongs. Some might say it's the primordial hill. Are you saying that you have found the buried pyramid? Would you like to see it? No, thanks. What do you mean, this belongs there? Just as you figured out, that mechanism 
is an electromagnetic key that can energize the ancient sanctuary that will provide shelter from the apocalypse. Have you completely lost your mind, Joseph? The ancient texts corroborate the scrolls I found in Egypt. So, as you can see, I need that. This, this is the only thing that can save us. Jacob, mankind does not deserve to be saved. What happened to you, Joseph? Where is your humanity? The world is dying here. No, no, not dying. Changing. I want you to be a part of this new beginning. You want me to come live with you and a bunch of lunatics in a pyramid? Jacob, trust me when I tell you that we'll be the only shelter. And when the new dawn rises, the skies will be so clear. The air we breathe, the water we drink will be fresh. This is the new cycle of creation. I think I'm gonna stick with this old, dirty, stinky world. Don't roll away, please. Just the way it is. <laughs> Jacob. Oh, thank God. Where's the Major? He's dead. Oh. I'm sorry. There's a rat at Stonehenge. Someone is feeding them information. Uh, who? I don't know. Well, well, how can you make such an accusation? You think someone there is a spy? For whom? Why? Joseph. He knew that I was the one that made the connection to the mechanism. Who's Joseph? How could this be real? Sir? I will lay this on the EM tracking screen. Seriously? Just do it! Joseph has this apocalyptic view that the world goes through these cycles of creation and destruction and that the next cycle is beginning at Stonehenge. Why would he murder for the mechanism? Apparently Stonehenge isn't the only ancient site that the mechanism is a key for. We have to get to Maine. To Maine? Remember when you asked why there wasn't an archaeological site on the grid points in Maine? He found it. <gasps> Energy amassed by the stones has increased exponentially. This is going to be a bigger bang. I've overlaid that, sir. Thank you. What do pyramids have to do with anything? One minute to go. by volcanic tremors. The Middle East is in a state of emergency. Oh my God. What now? The Mediterranean Sea is flooding into Egypt. You need to send emergency alerts to every coordinate that has a pyramid. These areas need to be evacuated right away. And you should get authorization for a nuclear strike on Stonehenge. Egypt have religious groups declaring it's the end of the world. Seismic tremors are 
It'll be long before volcanic ash starts blocking out the sun. Damn it, even military red lines are jammed. At what point will it be too late to do anything? I don't know, but if we don't find Joseph's pyramid... But wait, I got through. Sir, urgent to call from Dr. Leeds. Thank you. What do you think you're doing? John, I saw the Antikythera mechanism. Jacob was right. It is an electromagnetic device. Do you have it? No. A group of fanatics stole it. Someone from our team told them we were coming. But that's ridiculous. What would they want with that artifact? To activate a pyramid they found. Right. Another pyramid. What does that mean? All the volcanic eruptions occurred at pyramid sites. That proves everything Jacob's been saying. What does? They've confirmed all volcanic eruptions have occurred on pyramid sites. You don't say. So where are you now? We're driving to Maine to retrieve the mechanism. You won't have time. I've recommended Directive 1015. You're nuking Stonehenge? Are you kidding me? Give me that. Are you insane? The stones are tapping into the Earth's energy grid. If you nuke Stonehenge, you will disperse radiation across the globe. That is an entirely hypothetical scenario, and frankly, we are out of options. Did you hear a word Dr. Leeds just said about the mechanism? You need to help us get it. All right, what do you need? A small unit of heavily armed cops and transportation to Waterside, Maine. All right. driving around until you pick it up on your little meter there? You were a brilliant scientist. A prodigy, I heard. Didn't you care when they started calling you crazy? Put me in good company. How's that? You know, Copernicus, Galileo. Right. But, but... Yeah, I got something. I got it. Go east. East, go east. You are the chosen few who will see this earth with a purer spirit. Are you ready for the new dawn? Yeah! Bring all of them to the underground chamber. <laughs> then I will seal our sanctuary.
Something's happening. Is that the primordial hill? You call that a hill? In ancient texts, it was always depicted as a pyramid. It's written that during creation, it would rise out of the chaos, provide a sanctuary. Strike has been authorized. Everyone needs to evacuate. General. I have to be honest. New Kingston Henge, there's a chance it may backfire on us. Now you tell me that? This was your idea. And it was logical, but I didn't really have time to think it through. Jacob's concerns have merit. The brightest minds in this world have reviewed your proposal, and they think it's a good idea. So I'm going with your first instinct. Sergeant. Order your men to evacuate everyone within a hundred mile radius. Ladies and gentlemen, this is now a hot zone.
Lashem, where is he? Where's Lashem? Jacob, it looks like an altar stone. Your meter. He's in the woods. We've hit the ten hour mark. Stone's mother. Do you see that? Whole altar stone is glowing. Yeah, it's this way. Come on, the signal's getting stronger. This way. Doctor, look at the energy grid. What's happening? The stones are siphoning the Earth's energy grid. They're sucking up the entire planet's electromagnetic energy. Which means what? Which means when the countdown hits zero, you'll get your boom. A death blow. Everyone out. We're evacuating. What? Let's go. Disappoint me, Jacob. Give me the mechanism. You look around. Stonehenge is destroying the world. It's not creating some sort of utopian paradise for you and your so-called pure spirits. The only thing we know for sure is that Stonehenge is a terraforming device that was left behind by beings from another time. Exactly. And this is exactly the way our forebearers planned it. Civilization as we know it is a failed experiment. It's time for a clean slate. I know you, Joseph. I know there's compassion in you. Please just give me the device and let mankind survive. Jacob, only the chosen will be saved. And I'm sorry, my friend, that you're not among us. Freeze!
I need to get to an air base. KC, what's your status? We have the mechanism. I need immediate transport to Stonehenge. They have the mechanism. It's too late. Uh, you put this on speaker. This is what you KC, you're on speaker. I have the general with me. Tell us your situation. The cult leader is dead. We're in possession of the Antikythera mechanism and en route to Gilboy Air Base. Dr. Leeds, Directive 1015 is in effect. No. No, General. Trust me. The mechanism is a real device. You have to cancel the strike. Out of the question. General, a nuclear strike on Stonehenge will destroy the entire planet. I will not gamble the fate of this world on a museum piece. Come on, General. You cannot deny that there are forces at play here which we just don't understand. Please, just get me on a supersonic. I am begging you. General, there is nothing to lose by trying. He might make it. I'll get you back here, Mr. Glazer, but then you're on your own. I'm putting my men at risk. When the time's up, the bomb drops, even if it lands on your head. Thank you, sir. going with you. No. We have to get you to a hospital. I'm going back. You realize the risk you'll be taking. I have no choice but to drop the bomb the moment the hot zone's completely evacuated. General, the way I see it, whichever way this plays out, there's not going to be much of a world left. The um, least I can do is try and help save it. I'm coming. Me too. You're all crazy. Gunner, you're with me. Take this vehicle. Thank you, Drew. John. God be with you. Yeah. Your prevalence award. I can't take that. Relax, it's not a proposal or anything. Just take it. Why? You know, the trust that you've placed in me, it's validated my work. Maybe my life. I'll hold on to it until you get back. Deal? Deal. I doubt he'll make it in time, but 
Get him moving. And then get out of there. Tell them Trousdale is waiting for you. Joseph Lachem's colleagues once laughed at him when they said the planet had been terraformed into a habitable world by other beings. I guess they're not laughing now. What do you know about Joseph Lachem? I know his prophecies come true. As we speak, an extraterrestrial apparatus is amassing the entire planet's electromagnetic energy. Countdown hits zero. Unimaginable power will be unleashed. The death of this world will be the dawn of the next. David. You son of a bitch. You tipped off those murderers. My brothers aren't murderers, John. You are not a scientist. I don't know what you are, but you don't belong here. Get out! Actually, uh... My orders are to stay. Care that we are on the brink of extinction here. It is necessary for the rebirth of the human race. David, you can't possibly believe that. Oh, I believe that now more than ever. The prophecy has come true. And your prophet, he's dead. Yes. And now it's up to me to see this through. I will kill Jacob Glazer the moment he arrives. Sony is clear. Do it. Forgive me, Doctor. Eagle One, Hot Zone is clear. Proceed to target. Roger. Proceeding to target. Relax. We've got a front row seat to the planet's rebirth. Thrill of a lifetime. You think this horror show is thrilling? Oh, David, you are insane. Well, if that's the way you feel. <laughs> Marla, you shouldn't have come back.
Locking in on target. I'm getting hit with electromagnetic shockwaves. <laughs> Got the system's fried. We have to drop this puff the old-fashioned way. Colonel, has a missile been released? No, sir. The pilot reported losing precision guidance due to magnetic interference from the target. He's switching to manual release. We've only got one minute. Just tell him to drop the damn bomb. Close, Jacob. I must admit your tenacity is admirable, but surprisingly misguided for someone who believes the space agency found aliens on the moon. We're here because we want to know the real, real story. story. I'm Dr. Casey Leeds, and you are listening to The Real Story. 